Hey founders, thanks for joining me. It's a snowy day, so we're just chilling in the house. We have been all weekend. If I could flip the computer around, I'd show you the show you the sights. Maybe I'll capture it on my phone and include it in the video. But it's uh, it snowed for about close to 24 hours, but it didn't snow a lot, which is weird. So it's just small amounts of snow coming down. So anyways, today I want to talk to you about how long it should take to write a business plan. Uh, I write a whole bunch at any given moment. It's possible that I could have multiple business plans going on in the same given week and could be working on those in my day job, but also in just working with entrepreneurs through my business, uh, founderdocs.io. And one of the things that has been on my mind from a business perspective is how long it should be taking us to write a business case when we work with clients. There are instances where I have prepared a business plan for myself and I've been able to do it really, really, really quickly. I was able to do it in about two days, but it wasn't really my best work. There's other instances, especially in my day job, where I've worked on enormous business cases for very large projects. And those took myself and another author months to complete, off and on sort of writing and editing and researching and those types of things. That took a really, really long time for us to get to a finalized version. And so I've just been thinking about this and how long should it really take to prepare a business plan? And, uh, you know, I wanted to share with you what my thoughts on that are. There are a few things that take up most of the time when you're doing a business plan. The first one is going to be uh, your research. So that takes up the bulk of an effort when I'm doing a business plan, gathering all the information together getting it prepared, getting it organized so that I can use it uh, is, is very time consuming. Now, the good news is, is if you're doing your research, when you do get around to the writing, it, your research actually makes the writing go a lot faster because you have plenty of things that you can reference and talk about. Now, the other thing that takes up the bulk of the time particularly in, in my business, is the editing process. And I don't just mean the editing process in terms of the work that we do as a team and then the editing we do, but here I actually mean when you have clients who are wanting to edit, review, and make suggestions on the documents itself. That process of sharing the work you've done and having them give you suggestions and then sending it back to them, and there's usually multiple rounds of this, and it's a good thing. Clients should have a say-so in a business plan that's being written for them. But the sort of this ping pong process can take up a whole bunch of times. As a matter of fact, having multiple editors is probably what my team has experienced to be the biggest challenge when we're working with clients. And here's what I mean by multiple editors. And I would encourage you to sort of stay away from this, even if you're writing your own document. So when you work with a client, uh, oftentimes it's, it's a client and co-founders, right? So there have been instances where I have worked on a business case, business plan before for an entrepreneur, and I thought they were the only one that was going to be involved, only later to find out that after that individual and I had done uh, multiple rounds of edits, they then took the document and shared it with co-founders that I didn't know existed. And so then we had to go back through this whole process. And like I said, you want, especially when you're doing this work for someone else and getting paid to do it, you want folks to get a document that they're proud of. But this can be very counterproductive to go through this ping pong process. So what I actually recommend is that you have one main editor, even if uh, you're doing that for yourself. Now you're thinking, of course, if I'm doing it for myself, I would be the only editor. Well, that's, that's not the case. When you write a business case for yourself, there's a lot of bias that gets uh, included. And so you want to have other people review that and make recommendations on your behalf. Maybe it's your wife or a really good friend or a professional whose opinion you respect. There's gonna always be multiple editors or there should always be multiple editors involved. When you're doing that for a client, uh, I always recommend there being one main editor. So let's assume in an instance, you're doing a business case for an existing business and there's three co-founders. Uh, I recommend picking one of those co-founders to be the main editor. Now, do the other two editors get to have a say-so in what's going on? Certainly they do, but what I do these days to avoid this ping pong back and forth between one, two, and three co-founders is I have one main editor, I share the document with them, and then they take that and share it with their co-founders, and they all three 
of those folks come back to me through the main editor. So keep in mind, back to me through the main point of contact with one round of revisions. Then I then take those suggestions, incorporate them into the document, and we call it a final. Lots of folks like to do multiple rounds of revisions, but this creates a challenge because basically what's happening is they're wanting to do multiple rounds of revisions because they're just not doing a thorough enough job the first time around they're doing revisions. So if you can get your client or yourself and the editors who are helping you to do a very thorough review, you should be able to incorporate all revisions in one go around uh, and, and have one main point of contact that everything flows through so you can get some nice consistency and things like that. So those are some of the things that cause the business plan process to take longer than maybe what you think about. Now, I have heard um, it being promoted by other companies that prepare business plans for clients that they can do it in a few days to, a, to a less than a week. Is that possible? Sure it is. But I think if you aren't careful, you aren't allowing enough time to get a quality document done. So to the point of this whole video, I'm now I wanna to talk to you about how long I really think it should take. And the best cadence, there's no perfect worlds, but the best cadence that I think exists for a business case is right around two weeks for a, for a, business, for a business plan. Now, if the business is more established, such as in my day job, $16 billion publicly traded company, the process can take a lot longer. But generally speaking, I think, best case cadence is probably right around two weeks. Now, we actually tell clients it's going to be a three-week process, and I'm in the middle of a business case right now. It's actually taking longer than three weeks uh, just because we're getting some delays on the client's end because of uh, things that are going on. They're busy, and I get that, but it does take longer. So we usually tell clients three weeks. We actually try and pump it out in two weeks, and I want to also take this opportunity to tell you about the, the timeline that my team uses and how I got to this idea of the perfect cadence being two weeks. So here's a breakdown of how my team's timeline works within that two week period. Again, we tell them three weeks, that just leaves buffer for us to deal with certain delays. <clears throat> so we spend about two days on research. So that's deep diving into the information that we're provided by clients, coming up with our own, those kinds of things. So two week, two days of research, followed by a day of outlining. So we take all that research, we've consumed all of it, we understand it. We then spend a day sort of outlining the document itself and the talking points within each section. Then we spend about three days writing the document, the first draft I would call that, and then one day of internal review. So now keep, so let's keep track of, of that. That's sort of the first bulk of efforts. So you're looking at about that's six days, six days for one, two research, one outline, three days of writing, one, uh, that's it's seven days, I can't add apparently. Two days of research, one day of outlining, three days of writing, and one day of internal review. So a full week has gone by, one week, and we've had one round of internal review. Then following that, I usually anticipate about three days of client review. So they're running a business, they can't just drop everything they're doing and review it a day of meetings with the client to discuss their feedback. Then I give us two days for the team to make our final adjustments and one final day of final review with the client. So that's how we're getting to this whole idea of two weeks. That means that you got to assume the client has availability for reviews, suggestions, and, and meetings. So uh, can it get done in a week? Sure, it could be, but I really question the quality, quality of what you're doing. So um, most business plans that I write are for obtaining funding. And you know, when you're raising capital, uh, it's always important to be in that process. Doesn't mean you're always accepting capital, you're always raising capital. When you feel like a business case is gonna be needed, whether it's for funding for an SBA loan or maybe an operational plan, try not to wait to get it done when you really need it. Allow for this amount of time to get a quality plan done. You'll be surprised. Uh, how much uh, it can it can improve uh, just the long term viability of your business. So the best cadence I've experienced doing this lots and lots of times over uh, probably almost a decade now is about two weeks is what you should count on for a really, really good business plan. Now, one last thought before I let you go. I just finished putting together a business plan template. Uh, if you've been to my personal website before, the link will be in the description. 
You'll know that I have pitch deck templates folks can use who, who don't hire me for to actually design their pitch deck. I've gone ahead and I created a business plan template. It follows the structure I tend to use with most clients. And the best part is within each section, I give you thought provoking questions that will basically guide you through what you should say in each section. And so for folks who don't wanna hire someone else to write their business plan for them with experience, or maybe they don't have the budget to do that, you can get this uh, template. I'll put a link to it below. You can get it for less than 10 bucks and you, know, you can create your own business plan and have thought provoking questions that guide you through each section and help you get a really quality business plan written and structured in the way that in the exact same way I structure a business plan when I write with clients. Now, one note on that, you'll need to have the software solution notion. If you're going to uh, uh, check out this uh, business plan template, the good news is, is notion has a free version, so that shouldn't cost you anything. Although I got to admit, I pay for a more advanced version of notion. I think it costs me about less than $50 annually. And uh, I use it to organize everything, my content calendar, my journal, my, you know, everything, everything. And so if you want to check out this business plan template, just keep in mind, you'll need to have a copy of Notion. Anyways, until next time, that's about how long it should take to write a business plan. About two weeks is what you should count on. I hope that information helps you. And until next time, I hope you find your voice. Have a great day.